On this video, I'm gonna share with you how to use Facebook Live from a desktop computer. Let's get it. What's going on guys, Carlos here. So recently, Facebook rolled out an all new update which allows you to use Facebook Live directly from your business page or your profile. Previously, the only way that you'd be able to broadcast on Facebook Live on your desktop without having to use a mobile device was through OBS or a third party solution. And Facebook just rolled out this all new update. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through a couple of easy steps to show you how you can start using Facebook Live directly from your desktop computer. Now before I get started, from a business and marketing standpoint, there's a lot of use cases as to why you would wanna use Facebook Live. Think about it, if you wanna go ahead and teach, you can now do this directly through Facebook. If you wanna go ahead and do Q&A with your fans, whether they're your own personal brand fans or whether they're fans of your brand, you can do it with Facebook Live. If you wanna have an influencer come to your office or have an influencer at an event, you can sit them down and do Q&A. So by Facebook now offering the ability to go live from a desktop, it solves the issue that you previously had to address, which is if I don't wanna use a mobile device because the connection is either poor or the video quality is not gonna be well, well, all of that's solved and now you can go straight to desktop. So here is how you do it. All right guys, right now you're taking a look at my profile on Facebook. And if you look at where you go to type in a status update, which is where I just typed here, Facebook has now added a live video tab or button, which once you click on it, it prompts you to enter the title of your Facebook Live. So for the purpose of this, I'm going to say testing out Facebook Live. You can also drop in a link. From here, you have the option to make your live stream public. You can only share it with friends. And you can also select specific audiences that you wanna share your live with. So what's really cool about this is if you wanna do a Facebook Live broadcast for a very specific audience, whether it's professional colleagues, coworkers, family, what have you, you can go ahead and select who specifically you wanna see your live. Once I have a title for my live, I'm gonna click on Next. And now what it's gonna do is open up Facebook Live in another browser window. And one thing I wanna call out while this is loading up is that you have to use Google Chrome in order for this to work. So I am using a iMac and this feature is not available yet on Safari or any other browser. So just make sure as you're watching my tutorial and you're going through these steps that you're using the Google Chrome browser. So as you guys see right here in front of you, I've got two tabs open. One of them goes back to my profile and Facebook has opened up a new tab. And from here, I'm gonna click on go live. There's a three second buffer. And right now we are live. And typically it takes a few seconds. There's about an eight to 10 second delay before Facebook notifies your friends that you're live. And you'll see after a few seconds, then next to where it says live with the timer, you'll start to see folks dropping in. And what's cool about this is you can minimize the size of the window. Right now I have it completely maximized in order for this demonstration. So you can see we have five people watching, eight. So for those of you that are tuning into this live, I'm currently doing a recording for my YouTube channel, Carlos Gill TV. I'm doing a tutorial on how Facebook Live works so feel free to say something in the comments, whether it's hello, what's up. And once you are ready to end your live broadcast, then you're gonna click on finish in the lower right-hand side of the screen. It will end your broadcast. And you have a couple of options here. You can either click on done and it will publish your Facebook Live to your timeline or you can click on delete video and it'll go away. In my case, 
I just publish it to my timeline. And you see what's really cool about this here is you see the video I just recorded and it has a URL that points right back to my YouTube channel. So what's really neat about this is you can play around with it if you're doing a product demo, if you're doing a video preview to let's say a mastermind course and you wanna get your audience that's watching you on Facebook to take action and go back to a website, I would suggest to you that you customize the title of your live to include a link just as you see here that points back to the resource. So let's say hypothetically that I do a Facebook live on, on top 10 ways, for example, to grow your YouTube channel, what I would do is I would put that in the title, in the description of my Facebook Live, and then along with that, I'd drop in a link to either my YouTube channel or to, let's say, an email marketing drip campaign. Also, if you record podcasts, Facebook Live from the desktop can be a great way to bring your audience in to see the behind the scenes while you're recording that podcast. It can also be a good way to bring in your community so you can engage them while you're creating content for other mediums. And that's a wrap, guys. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future social media marketing tutorials. And be sure to give me a thumbs up and share this out with your network. Until next time, guys, I will see you on social media. Peace.